to string using the one piece stringing method, we're going to measure out the string, but instead of cutting the string, we're actually just going to make a mark on the string at, at a certain point. We're stringing the ProStaff 97 autograph racket, and from our stringer's digest, it shows that we need 37 feet of string for the one piece method, and that 10 is the short side. So we need 37 feet, and 10 feet is the short side. In this case, we're using a standard stringing package, which comes in 40 feet. So since we need 37 feet, that's three feet left over. So instead of doing 10 feet on the short side, I'm gonna measure out 11 feet on the string since we, we're gonna have some left over. I can tell you as a general rule, when you string using the one piece stringing method, if you don't know the measurements of the string, a good rule of thumb is to measure out 11 feet and mark that point of the string. Again, it's not universally always true. Sometimes the measurements can be a little bit different, but from my experience, marking the 11 foot mark and then stringing with the rest of the string is a good way to make sure you have plenty of string for the racket. For lighter string, I use a Sharpie to mark the string at the 11 foot mark. When we string the racket, you can actually hide that mark inside the grommet as we string it. So you won't be able to see that mark, but uh, we need to know the 11 foot mark in order to properly string using the one piece method. For black string, obviously the marker won't show up. So what I use is a small piece of electrical tape just to mark that. So once I get the racket in the string, I can just peel that tape off and string as normal. Now that we have the 11 foot mark measured out, we can string using the one piece stringing method. Mm -hmm.